What's going on everybody? Welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at pinkyfilters.com. I've had a, a good handful amount of questions recently about the pinky pads that I use in my sump that I'm always talking about, where to get them, how often do I change them. So I'm just going to take you right to the website and show you. So the place is called pinkyfilters.com. Now I highly recommend them for a lot of reasons. I'll go over a few key points right off the bat and then we'll just get to their website. So I know you could probably find very, very similar pads somewhere out there at a fabric store, a craft store, but you don't really know if they are safe for your aquarium and you don't want to risk putting it in there. Some places may get them clean, but they spray a mildew resistant spray on them or fire retardant spray. And you know, they're handled by a lot of people in dusty stores. So there could be all kinds of debris on it. I like to go with pinky pads, they're extremely safe. Now, I like to order the 12 inch by 10 foot sections. Um, I pre-cut these and I put them in a container, so whenever I need to use them, um, I'll always have them on hand. They do arrive just like this in this pre-sealed package, it keeps everything super spotless. I've never unraveled a bag and found that there's debris in the pinky pads, so again, pinkyfilters.com. They have the 12 inch wide, 24 inch wide. They have some combo deals. I usually get the three pack um, and it lasts me quite a while. I like to change these out at least twice a week, roughly about two to three times a week at the most. And they're really just really, really good at catching debris right before they go to the return section of my tank um, and the return pump. You know, it gets that polished water is what I like to call it. These pads polish the water final stage before your return pump. So let's take a quick look over at my sump, show you where I put them and we'll talk about it a little bit further. All right, so we're down in the sump section. It's a typical sump, you know, we have the skimmer section and I have a little bubble trap here. Most of the bubbles get caught there. It's very rare that a micro bubble does make it through into the refugium section. Now, even though I don't have any macro algae in this sump at the moment, it does still have a good amount of detritus that collects in there, swirls around, and I want to keep all this stuff, you know, micro bubbles, detritus, any type of macroalgae, I don't want it going into my return section, getting sucked up in the return pump. So I put the pinky pad there and it polishes it, keeps everything out. And like I said, two to three times a week, depending on how often you want to change it, you could change them every day if you want, but it's definitely super helpful and I do know that the pods can make it through here and get into your display tank they do crawl around the edges they will work to find their way through and get up into your display tank so you don't have to worry about that because like I've said I've started my tank with dry rock and dry sand and they've made it up there you can see here just how clean the bottom of the return pump section is compared to what's all underneath there and underneath the protein skimmer section so again got to have that polished water in my tank before it goes in there so I always always have the pinky pads on standby I cut them a little bit longer and a little bit wider than I need to makes it for a nice tight fit so again you know if you uh, if you use pinky pads and you like them you don't like them whatever the case may be let me know in the comment section below what you think of them if you've used them. If you're gonna give them a try, let me know here as well. So definitely go check them out. They're really good for hang on the back filters, all in ones. You can put these things anywhere you want to. You can even cut them up to clean your glass. So again, check them out, pinkyfilters.com. There it is. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.